So welcome everybody. It's Friday, May 20th. It's 2.25 in the afternoon and we are looking at the markets. So let's get started. Quick disclaimer that this is just how I see the markets. This is not a recommendation to buy, sell or hold any securities. After a horrible week, uh, we can see the results now. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, not good at all. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, S&P 500 index. And uh, this was a, a threshold that I was uh, waiting for the bounce to happen and did not happen. 4,062 points. We went down all the way to 38.14. You can see just downfall from here. Uh, we broke this level here. So next level to look for is around there 37,000 um, points and then uh, we have uh, this uh, 33,990 so that will be S&P 500 um, looking at the Bitcoin right now we can see that uh, it's still sitting around that uh, $29,000 area uh, we went as low as uh, 25,000 um, so still very bearish uh, or very uh, in a sell-off mode at the moment. We can see the the uh, support line here at uh, 28,937. Uh, so unless we get some kind of a bullish move from here uh, to buy into the Bitcoin again um, or fraction of it, um, I wouldn't even uh, think about it. Um, huge, huge move and a loss uh, for Apple. Uh, look at that. Jeez. Uh, it went down, guys, all the way to 132.77. I didn't expect it to fall that much. And the reason why, because we can see in the past, these are the levels that we were kind of hoping for the market to bounce from. Um, it looks very bearish. Apparently, it's holding a market uh, uh, steadily. But, um, yeah, it looks very bearish to me. Like, it's really, really, it's at 137.59. Uh, that's, uh, that's a close. So... We're going to see what the next week uh, brings us uh, at the moment. Uh, it's really, really bearish uh, or in sell-off mode. Looking at Tesla. Tesla is even worse uh, now that the market, uh, well, this SM, it's excluded from S&P 500. Um, market share fell and we went uh, all the way down to 633. Um, I'm uh, hoping maybe uh, 576, that would be a great area to buy in again into a share. Um, at the moment, super bearish, uh, super in sell of mode. Um, I would not touch that uh, even with a stick at the moment. So until we see some kind of a results from there. So um, just hold off with that. Uh, we are looking at the U.S. oil. And uh, prices are coming down a little bit on the pumps. But uh, the reason why is that this $114... Uh, uh, resistance is still holding. We have a now this uh, candle, which is uh, indecision candle or doji candle that formed at this level here. So indecision is happening this mo at this point of time. Um, this can uh, break either way. It can go either up and uh, break out and then continue on, or it can come down again to $93 per barrel. So that's what we're looking at uh, at uh, oil looking at the air canada uh still very bearish as i said uh, there was a little attempt uh, of the bulls to push the price up however it finished really really bearish uh, at this point of time uh still this is a pin bar but it's an inside bar so until either bottom of this candle here is broken or the top of this candle is broken uh, we are not sure exactly uh, what the what the uh, direction for air canada is however Looking at the price of fuel and everything else, um, I'm still expecting it to come down to 1948, uh, where I'm, uh, where I have a, a standing uh, a break into uh, a trade. So uh, at the moment, uh, I'm uh, still standing on the side sidelines and just waiting for for that to happen. Um, looking at the weed uh, markets. So what happened here? Well, we had the break uh, of this uh, pin bar here. And that gave us uh, some kind of opportunity to uh, uh, jump into this trade. Uh, still very bearish coming down. This uh, pin bar is at the right place. Uh, still uh, not a losing trade. Uh, stop loss goes below the candle. And uh, the 
bears are coming in a little bit at this point of area but uh, you can see that they're not pushing the price that hard uh, down so uh, we might expect something to happen in the next week so we'll see from there um, good gainer for me was uh, this week uh, after this beautiful pin bar formed uh, at 89.16 which was a great area for us to look at the national bank of canada and you can see the result right after that so we have a trend which is uh, to the upside and then we have the signal that's formed right on the uh, support line and uh, market just uh, took off from there and it took us all the way to uh, 93 dollars so uh, good performer i think it's the only performer that is actually um, doing well as far as canadian banks um, looking at bank of montreal still very bearish a little bit of a push uh, for the bulls but uh, uh, not able to hold it and uh, we are coming down again to this 130 92 area um, Bank of Nova Scotia, same exact uh, picture as uh, Bank of Montreal, and uh, we are still very bearish. Actually, this is a, a bearish engulfing candle uh, pushing price down here. We might uh, see the price all the way down to uh, 78.41 or 76.59. So at the moment, uh, no go for for the Bank of Nova Scotia. Uh, TD Bank, uh, we are in this consolidation now. We have one. Uh, indecision candle or doji bar second third fourth that's four weeks in a row there's no movement for this uh, for this uh, stock uh, to run to the, the mini bank so at the moment uh, it's a no-go uh, if you're looking into uh, getting um, something out of that market here we have a nice bounce uh, from uh, for royal bank of canada uh, i was expecting it to happen at this level and guess what exactly happened at that level uh, we have this bearish candle that was uh, rejecting this uh, 125 12 area and now we have this uh, doji candle which is basically indecision but it's also an inside bar and it's green which means the bulls are uh, forming this uh, level uh, at this point of time so uh, if we break to the upside, we have opportunity to take the market uh, to the next level, which would be 133.89, 134. That's for the next week. Um, still Canadian uh, CIBC, it's uh, still very bearish. Coming down, uh, these are, well, if I, if I spread the chart like this and I do this for you, so you can see it okay so this was a support line it, it got broken and now it's being rejected on the opposite side so i'm expecting for the market to come down to here uh, at the 66 12 area um a very significant area for this uh, for this stock so um we can see that the market has stopped at that area so there so uh, i'm waiting for the market to come down to this uh, 66 area also could possibly happen to 6360 uh, where we had the breakouts uh, to the upside, so uh, that's uh, CIBC. Uh, Sun uh, Life Financial, uh, it broke below this support line. Uh, we have now indecision candle here. It is very bearish, if, as you can see, uh, it's confirmation of the bearish movement at this moment, point of time. So we have to wait and see what the market uh, gives us in a few, uh, uh, few next uh, weeks. Uh, at the moment, it's very bearish. And uh, no, in, no decision here or any indication that the bulls are coming into play. We're looking at the TELUS and look what happened here. TELUS, okay, so we have this trend line here that, that I drew uh, from before. And uh, TELUS is coming down very quickly to that area here. So it could be a 30, 54. I'm expecting to bounce around this uh, 30, 10 area uh, and probably uh, buy in into this uh, market again. But at the moment, uh, it's coming down it's bearish so no bulls uh, in the uh, anywhere uh, on the horizon so I'm waiting for that to happen menu life financial well we can see what I'm waiting for this is the area that I was looking at 2175 and it's still coming down here until we uh, some have some kind of a bullish action at this point of time uh, this is a no-go as well everything's pretty uh, uh, grim uh, on all the charts uh, so Suncor Energy, well, we had this uh, breakout with this uh, little uh, bullish uh, engulfing uh, pin bar, and pardon me, bullish pin bar, and then the market just took off from there. Uh, I showed you that last week at 47.71. Uh, we went, uh, went all the way to uh, $50, almost uh, 49.89. So uh, it's uh, doing very well. I think it's all based on, uh, on the prices of uh, fuel anyways. So, all right, going, doing a, uh, looking at the Dogecoin, 
um, yeah, we can see that uh, it broke below the support line that I was expecting for something to happen. It's still uh, very bearish, so no go. Ethereum, um, it's still, I'm waiting for it to come down here to this area at uh, 1701, uh, where we might be uh, binding back into Ethereum. So at the moment, uh, nothing there. ADA, same thing, uh, that was a support line, uh, broke below, no go at the moment, uh, still sell off. Okay, Sol um, against the Tether, okay, on B, uh, Binance. Well, we have it here, this is a support kind of a line, I'm gonna put it here so just you can see, uh, not a strong one, but it's right there. So we are sitting at this area here at $50. Um, it's possible how bearish it is at the moment to, to come down all the way to 20 but if we get some bullish action here we can uh, jump into this one and uh, uh, rebuy it again again uh, Luna disappeared that uh, invalid symbol now uh, it's completely bankrupt so that those accounts are closed um, looking at a uh, few more stocks here I'm gonna look at the Netflix and we can see the Netflix is kind of uh, fiddling around this uh, 186 area it's still very bearish look at this fall here it's just coming down and if we can see uh, uh, on the other side uh, the threshold or would be 129.24 that's that's the area that I'm uh, more interested than that it is at 186 but it's very bearish at the moment Nvidia looking great uh, as far as the uh, Nvidia we can see that we had this uh, uh, looking great in the sense uh, that it's coming down nicely to this 146 area where we can buy in uh, at the nice dip. So we had this trend line here that it was broken. When it was broken, same happens uh, with the trend lines as well as with the support resistance lines. We break, we uh, break, uh, pardon me, we close the price on the other side. We have a retest with this beautiful pin bar, uh, opposite pin bar, and the market just took, uh, took, a, took a dive from there uh, all the way to, let's see, how far did we, 150? area so about uh, ten dollars shy from this 146 area where I was expecting to come we'll see next week what happens uh, in the moment that's what I see it's very bearish over there um, we had a nice pin bar happening here on Nike at 104 area uh, that was nicely rejected there at uh, 114 area I was expecting it to go up from there however uh, after the break here we went all the way only to 116 117.03 and now we are retesting this area again that means uh, this trade is not still scratched uh, stop loss for me is below 103.87 uh, below this line here of support so I'm just still waiting for the market to show its hand here and uh, maybe even expand my position on uh, Nike so that's uh, the moment over there Neo had a nice uh, bounce from this area here of 13.05 and as we can see uh, it bounced all the way to uh, 17.71 from 16.61 so dollar per, st per stock um, it's still very bullish so let's see what happens next week Shopify as I said a pin bar happened here at this point of time uh, that was a great area to look for to buy in 4.29 area we went as low as 401.07. Uh, right now, the spin bar is still in the play. Uh, it's not broken on top, so the trade is no go yet uh, until this 528.53 area is broken. Wanted to show you a couple more here. Well, we're looking at uh, Walmart, which is just tumbling down. Take a look at this uh, fall. This is from this week at from 149.81 to. 117 so about $40 in losses in just one week uh, and we can see the recession is actually working very well um, not very well for them pardon me um, we can see also the trend line is now broken we are now on the sell side and uh, this could be the area that we can bounce uh, we can see that our market used to be here before we had some bullish action happening from that area uh, we did stop at that area too but however uh, we'll see what happens and if we get any signals from there i wanted to show you target as well target is doing really really bad same as uh, walmart and take a look at here we had a loss here from um, one 222 dollars to 150 so 70 dollars in losses in one week um, and uh we had this area here where the market was bouncing 
before. So we had this uh, attempt of a breakout, breakout, pullback, a reject, pardon me, a rejection of the level, pin bar, and the market took off. And now we are back to this 151 area. Um, this can go as low as I would say around this uh, 127 area. Uh, so that's a possibility as well. So this is the outlook uh, for this week. A few of the uh, trades that I showed you that uh, they're working out very well, especially National Bank of Canada. Um, I'm still looking into other stocks uh, to give us uh, a nice uh, uh, indication of what can happen uh, in the days to come. Uh, at the moment, everything's very bearish and uh, I was really surprised and taken about, about uh, Apple and uh, the performance of the stock, but uh, what can you do? At the moment, it is what it is. So uh, we're just going to follow our uh, strategy and move on from there. Uh, this is Sasha. This is just the way I look at the markets. This is not a recommendation for anybody to buy, sell, or hold any securities at any time. This is my interpretation of the markets. This is how I trade. I hope you enjoyed the videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching my videos. And I'll talk to you next week, uh, beginning of Monday. See how the next week performs. Thank you and have a nice weekend.